So let's get started. All right. So if you guys aren't familiar, one of the first place I want to highlight is called Hooked Island Grill. This is actually a picture. So Hooked Island Grill was originally on Matt Lachey. A uh, really nice outdoor seating. Uh, my family and I, we used to go there. It was always nice to sit along the water uh, and get some of the food they had there. Nice old building, but unfortunately with Hurricane Ian, that got damaged. But there's been some updates, and they're actually going to reopen in Cape Coral, though. So I'm going to scroll up here top, and uh, they will be opening this year. If you remember the Old Blue uh, Brewing, that's where they're going to be opening up uh, their current restaurant, which can be considered uh, downtown Cape Coral. Um, I think this is the last updated, uh, yeah, January is posting there. We'll go through uh, some of their photos they have here. Um, so if, I don't know if you guys ever did it, hit it up on Matt Lachey, but it was a nice place. Uh, but this is going to be where they're going to be opening. I don't have an official date, but it will be this year. Um, they did have real good food there. Uh, we enjoyed it. I really like the, the atmosphere of being on the water there. Uh, but look forward to this place opening in downtown Cape. So let's uh, let's keep moving here. That's going to be a place opening up. If you guys already don't know, um, Outback Steakhouse just got a uh, new place off Skyline and Veterans. Uh, they are open. I did drive by the other day. Um, if you guys enjoy their cuisine, they are open. Uh, the other place, I think it used to was more than the, the Northeast. They had one, but now we have one kind of in that, that central pocket to go check out. Um, so once again, the Skyline and Veterans Outback Steakhouse is already open. Uh, so let's dive into a place I've actually never heard of, and that is called uh, Fry's Factory. Um, I don't know about you guys, uh, I do enjoy some French fries, and this is what they are creating. Um, think of like a salad bowl, but with French fries instead. So I'm actually kind of interested to see um, all the ideas they have. Um, I, I guess it's based off that the poutine. Um, uh, meal. I did have poutine when I was uh, visiting Chicago many years ago. Um, but let's kind of look in. They got a, um, looks like they're classic. This is obviously a Canadian dish. Going to have some cheese curds with some brown gravy. Uh, they have a Big Mac one, a General Chow's poutine. We do like General Chow's chicken. Um, Frank special, a chili cheese fries. There's a classic for you. So this place is going to be opening. Um, wow, they've it's really impressive some of the stuff they got on here. Um, it's going to be 1616 Cape Coral Parkway. So to give you guys like an overview shot here, let's look at the map. That's going to be Cape Parkway and Chiquita area. Uh, there is a like a public shopping plaza there, McDonald's on the corner, but that's where they're going to be opening up. So look forward to the Fry's Factory opening up. This is definitely a spot that we are going to go check out. Um, I think I told my wife about it. If I didn't, I need to, because, uh, this is very interesting that they have here. So, uh, let's keep moving on a uh, couple more restaurants that are going in walk-ons is like, um, Louisiana inspired place. And, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be the, uh, let's see, walk-ons, uh, the North side of Pylon road, just east of Aldi around, around the clock fitness. Um, Northeast Corner Skyline and Veterans. So that's actually going to be pretty close to us. So Walk-Ons, let's check out what they got on their menu here. Walk-Ons is going to be opening up. Fried pickle chips. There you go. That's a win for us. Uh, waffle cheese fries. Look like a, a boudin balls. Fried spicy pork sausage and rice blend. Boom Boom Shrimp. That's always a classic there. Um, look like a lot of fried dishes there, burgers, salads. Let's check out their specialties. Look forward to here. Uh, catfish. I don't even know how to say some of these. Not going to lie. Uh, fried shrimp, catfish. Looks like some seafood. Poor boys. I do like a shrimp poor boy, and that looks like what they're known for there. So it's going to be another place that's going to be opening up. Do you guys look forward to? Um, if you lived here long enough, um, in Cape Coral, we've probably been here seven years. And prior to that was in Fort Myers. Definitely watching this area uh, grow and have a lot more options. Uh, we are pretty picky where we go out. Uh, so look forward to if it ends up being real good, I'll probably do a little video on it then. But this seems like a cool place to check out. I always like different things. I'm not a big fan of uh, chain restaurants, uh, but I do like checking out different cuisines and what's bringing. Uh, so that is Walk-Ons, another place that um, there is one in South Fort Myers. But Twin Peaks is going to be opening up. If you guys uh, remember where the Golden Corral is off Pine Island Road there, that shut down some time ago. 
and they're going to be, uh, I'm assuming, just remodel that place into a Twin Peaks, known for their very cold beer. Um, actually, smoked chicken wings are pretty good, too, there. So Twin Peaks will be opening up in Cape Coral. Um, it is set, uh, there we go, right there, 29-degree draft beer. Um, so look forward to that place opening up. But, you know, this area is growing so much, and it's just cool to see how it uh, transforms. Obviously, unfortunately, with growth comes traffic, right? Um, but, you know, we're in the Northwest Cape, and it's definitely, it used to be a lot of empty lots, and those lots are getting filled up quick. Um, so look forward to all these restaurants opening up uh, here in Cape Coral. And if you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, do me a favor, shoot me a text, give me a phone call, book a Zoom call, because I'd love to show you around town. All right. Talk soon.